So I'm going to give you guys an insight into our life and mainly into my wife. We're going to ask her some questions at the end of this and I kind of want to show you her daily routine. She's quite a quiet person so I think this video will enlighten a lot to her personality and who she really is. My wife sleeps with the boys because they tend to go to bed early around 8pm whereas I'm a late sleeper. I'll be up until midnight sometimes 1 a.m. She's up early as well, so 5 a.m. she'll be up with the boys, catching the sunrise, getting Hugo ready for the morning. They'll usually head over to Grandma's house for something to eat, some breakfast, and then no doubt spend some time in the garden, enjoying this time of day, which is particularly cool and cold. The sun isn't out fully at this time, so it's a comfortable time of day. A lot of rural people and local people will get up in the mornings and try to get a bit of the farm work done, a bit of the outdoor work done, because the weather is better for them. It's also safer for Hugo to play in the garden, and she'll enjoy a morning cup of coffee. Unlike me, who has to go to the cafe and get a real cappuccino from a machine, my wife loves to drink instant coffee. She drinks Nescafe. My wife is a real morning person and that's why I've chosen to show you her in the morning. She doesn't like being up late at night, she's not a night person, she doesn't like nightclubs or things like that. She never drank or smoked. She's a morning person, this is when she's at her happiest and best I think in the morning. After a coffee, putting a bit of laundry out and just very much absorbing this calm and peaceful lifestyle that we lead here on the farm. At this time usually I would take Otis to school and drop him off while she's putting the laundry out. I come back and we have the day together. Of course every day is different, nothing is ever the same. Every day offers new choices and experiences. But I think this is a typical morning for my wife. And now let's go and ask her a few questions. What's your favourite thing about living in rural Thailand? Being around with family <laughs> and uh, nature. And uh, it's like you're living in your place, comfort zone. Yeah, that's what I feel. Feel safe, feel like uh, fresh, like that. Do you think most Thai women want to live with their families? I think so. Most of them want to live with the family. But also, I think it's like uh, young people, they want to explore life in the city. You know, but uh, for, you know, when you're getting old, you want to uh, stay close to the family and look after them. And it's uh, better to be in your place than anywhere. <laughs> so, is this your dream come true? Yeah, it's always my dream to come back and live next to my mom. And I think it's like, uh, uh, I think some people who were born here in the local and then never been to the city, I think some of them, many of them, want to go to live in the city first. So sometimes they're very excited to go in the city. And after that, they feel like they miss home and they want to come back here. And in 
after COVID, so many people that moved back to live in local, in, in rural Thailand because they feel like uh, nowhere better than home, you know. <laughs> it's same same as me. And your sister is living in Germany, one sister. Another sister is living in Bangkok. They're working kind of very difficult jobs, full-time jobs. Do you think their dream is to come and do this or do they prefer to live in a city? Oh, their dream, they want to come here. They want to live here. But also like the joy of working, making money in the, in the city is better. So make uh, better money in there and then a better job in the city. If we didn't live in rural Thailand, where would you want to live, the second choice? Uh, not. Uh, always my plan. Because I, I've been to North many times, but never lived there. When I was working in Bangkok, uh, I always go to Chiang Mai on, uh, on the weekend. So I fall in love in Chiang Mai because, because the elephant <laughs> They have an elephant camp over there, that, that was my dream. That I, I used to think like I want to live there before, and, uh, but I'm more happy living in my hometown. What is your biggest worry living here? What do you worry about? What you clear? It's clear to me like stress about. Stress Don't say me. <laughs> Stress about rural Thailand. Mm, my main thing is about I stress about my dad <laughs> because his health not uh, not good. Yeah, that's all. Only one thing that I worry about. From drinking. Yeah, from drinking, and also he very, not listen. <laughs> you know, if you drink, only yourself that can stop it you know if you want to stop it only yourself nobody can tell you ah you have to stop or something like that then they won't stop they they won't they will do whatever they want <laughs> like uh because in the morning he wake up and he need alcohol you know so i really want him to care about his health but it, it seemed like uh uh alcohol it get into him already so last question what you love about me? <laughs> what I love about my husband? First, first of all, it's about trust. He can tell me everything. He never hide about good story or bad story. He always tell the bad story first, like uh, because he want to open with everything, and that is a that's a good, a good thing like I, I like about I, I love about because I know that I can trust him because if good or bad he tell me every single thing never hide anything at all and uh, second one is very sweet <laughs> this guy always you know chose sweet all the time you know and uh, he show he show all the time that love me you know very love Oh my God. Loving. It's loving, very loving. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, come on, in front of everybody. He always show and then, uh, and, and also he very caring. And then he always asking like uh, what we need, anything every day. Even that he know the answer is no. You know, he asks every day and uh, because he worry about everybody. And, uh, but a, li a little bit is he like to moan. <laughs> Mona. Mona. <laughs> Sometimes he moan a lot. <laughs> Sometimes he don't know himself like uh, he moan until I tell him, come on, stop moaning. <laughs> and he said, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all my husband. I love about And what do I love about my wife then? She's very, she's very sweet. She's very innocent. She's very committed, very loyal. She she very good mother. She takes care of the kids. Ah, lovely. This is she said it's um, boiled rice from from Cambodia, Cam Cambodian style. She said there's chicken, pork, and rice inside, and it's a it's a. Cambodian style. 
Let's try one. So this is pork with rice. Is that egg? Ah, so it's rice, pork and soybean. I don't even know what to compare it to. I wish there was something I could find that you can compare it to, but. Soybean. Just like a meaty snack. And again, this is steamed, wrapped in a banana leaf, and then it's steamed in this pan. So she lights the barbecue, and she steams it in here. There's always something on the go here in this kitchen. Low cost, traditional, delicious snack. We're spoilt, absolutely spoilt, guys. As many of you have seen on this vlog too, my wife is a very hard worker. She's very hands-on with things in the building of our house, of putting our dreams together here. She loves to remain very active. I guess some key differences between Damo and I is I'm quite expressive emotionally. I like to talk and things like that. Damo is quite quiet. She keeps herself to herself. But as the years have gone by, she's really opened up. And for me, she's been a real stabilizing influence. She's brought a lot of happiness to my life. And ultimately, whatever we've built here, whatever we built together in our life has been a team effort. And I couldn't have done it without her. She couldn't have done it without me. We work together as a team. And that has made all the difference in our lives here in rural Thailand. <laughs> standing on your own yay top my bat bat top my bat bat so I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into my wife asked her a few personal questions there she is uh, an amazing person she surprises me all the time there's a lot I don't know about her still even after 10 years together and now I'm gonna leave you with some little bits of activities that we do with the boys here on the farm. Enjoy, thanks for liking and subscribing guys. Yeah. Old Superman. He went come a flat. Oh, he's too old now. The bad guys are coming. Then came along a new super strong superhero. Ta! <laughs> it's Captain <laughs> Underpants. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's an egg salad sandwich. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> I'm Captain Underpants. <laughs> Captain Underpants was faster than the speeding waistband, more powerful than boxer shorts, and able to jump over tall buildings without getting a wedgie. <laughs> Night and day, Captain Underpants watched over the city, 
fighting for the truth, justice, and all that is pre shoped and cottony. Meanwhile, at the nearby school, it was it was stinky taco surprise day at the cafeteria. Stinky taco, yuck. Everybody hated it so much that they threw it away. Soon the cafeteria food came to life. I am the Incredible Hulk. The monster ran around the school eating everything. Munch, 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 munch. Help, the Incredible Hulk just ate up 15 folding chairs and the gym teacher. Oh no, not folding chairs. This looks like a job for... La la la! Captain Underpants! Captain Underpants shot, of, shot lots of underwear at the monster. But it didn't go away. 